Hey, it's Raj from 3CB Performance. Barcelona and Argentina legend Lionel Messi is arguably the greatest dribbler of all time, able to weave through the opposition in a seamless manner that often makes defenders look foolish and leaves fans, opponents, and teammates alike shaking their heads in disbelief. How do you describe magic? How do you describe this? To give Messi's dribbling skill and technique its proper due, I've broken it down into a three-part series, beginning with underlying foundations and building upwards. Accordingly, in this video, I'll break down four underpinnings of Messi's dribbling. Mental speed, balance, coordination, and center of mass. Before Messi ever touches the ball or takes action, he's reading the situation around him. Where am I on the pitch? Which defenders and teammates are around me? What is the defender most likely to do? What space can I play into? Messi reads the information, processes it, and immediately applies it to his dribbling actions. I refer to this read, process, act sequence as quote, mental speed. In this example, Messi anticipates the defender closing down, recognizes where the space is, and then uses his second touch to play the ball in behind. Then, this is key, Messi immediately looks to his right and back behind him to get his bearings and go through the entire process all over again. Messi's case in point that mental speed can often leave physically speedier opponents in the dust. Information is power, but being able to process it this quickly and immediately translate it into action is true footballing genius. Messi's elite balance and coordination provides a stable, efficient platform for his dribbling movements. His entire body is stacked and organized around midline, with his upper and lower limbs always working in conjunction with one another, whether he's starting his attack, on the move, or taking contact, known as a quote, spontaneous perturbation. If he finds himself losing that stable base of support, it takes him only a split second to reorient himself and continue on like nothing happened. His dynamic balance and ability to regain it quickly is flat out ridiculous. Additionally, Messi possesses elite single leg balance. He's able to turn and contort his body while on one leg to get a touch on the ball and then immediately transition to the run. Messi's balance, the body's GPS system, is a testament to his training and optimizing the three key systems that underlie it. The vestibular inner ear system, ocular vision system, and the proprioceptive system, which provides unconscious feedback from little receptors in the muscles, joints, and skin called proprioceptors to the brain about the body's position in space. Further. Messi's dribbling movements are coordinated intricately, from his head and shoulders to his trunk and core to the hips, legs, and feet. The coordination and balance work hand in hand to enable extreme precision and efficiency on his dribbling and deliver devastating body feints. Like versus Marcelo here, Messi feints hard to the left with his left shoulder, trunk, and leg all shifting in that direction. Once that left foot hits the ground, Messi's left shoulder dips, his right arm swings through to facilitate trunk rotation, and Messi's core, hips, and legs all synchronize to reverse direction. Marcelo's instant reaction says it all. Messi's coordination is a byproduct of a highly proficient and trained neuromuscular system, which connects the brain to the muscles via nerves, resulting in precise synchronization of movements further aided by his finely tuned GPS balance system. Messi already has a lower center of mass due to his height, roughly 1.69 meters, 5 feet 7 inches, 
and intentionally makes it even lower in key dribbling situations to facilitate balance, coordination, and weight shift ability. This play is a great example. He drops his hips and trunk to lower his center of mass after taking contact to quickly reorient his balance and find the ball. Flexes his trunk and drops his shoulders as he precisely navigates between two defenders and then after stretching to beat another defender drops the trunk and shoulders again to quickly reorganize himself back onto the ball. A different angle here. He just under the ball and skies the finish but hey no one's perfect. Lastly, when Messi wants to deliver a blow, he'll also lower his center of mass to gain critical leverage. Understanding how and when to apply force can be more effective than being the quote strongest player in the weight room. I'll dive deeper into that topic of Messi's underrated strength along with his incredible mobility and quick, efficient weight shifts in part 2 next week. That's a wrap for this video, thanks for watching. My goal is to provide you with in-depth, evidence-based, narrative-free analysis, and you can always find me on IG and Twitter, at 3CB Performance. Please take care of yourselves and follow the appropriate precautions to limit your exposure to and spread of COVID-19. Make sure to sub to the channel and follow along on all social media for latest updates. 3CB out.